Hi, Rockets. Here we are. This is our final week of me reading books to you because we are about ready to enjoy our summer break. And I wish so much that I could be with you and give you all a hug and wish you a happy summer. But since I can't, this is the best thing I can do. So I hope you have a wonderful summer and you keep reading. And I know I will and find some fun books to be able to read all summer long. And I also hope you get some time to go and do some fun things with your family, maybe go on some trips or um, play in the sprinklers in your backyard or just do whatever you want to do in the nice hot weather. And I'm excited to meet. We'll start hopefully start a um, normal year like we always are used to next year. So that will be great. Okay. So because the flowers are out and it is beautiful and warm at this time of year, we're going to read one of my uh, the favorite books about smelling the flowers. And this book is also one that was turned into a movie. So this one is called The Story of Ferdinand. Once upon, a, once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But Ferdinand, but not Ferdinand, they like to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she just let him sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and very strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But Ferdinand, but not Ferdinand, he still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so men would think they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Ow! Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. 
Look at his face. Uh. Wow! Did that hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and waving the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. There was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They all had a parade and they had a parade into the bull ring. First came all the banderillos with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and long and had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and blowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword that was supposed to, to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull and you know that and you know who that was, don't you, Ferdinand? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and the Bandorindos were afraid of him, and the Picadores were afraid of him, and the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair. He just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce, no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the banderillos were mad, and the picadoras were madder, and the matador was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So, they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers quietly. He is very happy. The end. Well, I hope you have time and you take time to smell the flowers too this summer. I'm so excited to see you next year. And I hope that you have a fun and save summer and I will be there waiting for you. Bye Rockets, have a good one.